We've got some breaking news. Actor and musician Jussie Smollett from the hit show Empire was attacked and beaten early this morning in Chicago. Police are looking for two potential persons of interest in a possible hate crime against actor Jesse Smollett. His attackers hurled racial and homophobic slurs. Two people yelled racist and homophobic slurs. Racial and homophobic slurs. Not only homophobia, we're talking about racism. We're talking about hate with steroids. The offenders uttered, this is MAGA country. He said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. They are looking for two suspects who were apparently wearing Make America Great Again hats. I'm disgusted by people who wear hats that say MAGA. Make America Great Again. I don't like that it's being put out there in the media that this is a right. possible yeah. hate crime. Right. I think that even sows a seed that makes people feel oh, like, doubt. well, is he making this up? The media has really cast so much doubt on his story, which I find so personally offensive that a gay black man is targeted and then suddenly he becomes the victim of yeah. people's disbelief. Yeah. We have a media that's saying it's a debate whether or not what just happened to Jesse Smollett is a hate crime. It's absurd. It's coming from the president of the United States. He's dog whistling every day. Senator Cory Booker said the vicious attack on actor Jesse was an attempted modern day lynching. Kamala Harris calling the attack an attempted modern day lynching. If his claims turn out to be a complete hoax, it would just be one in a long list of fake, phony, concocted, MAGA-inspired hate crimes in the Trump era. Sean Hannity's gonna eat Jussie Smollett's lunch every single second. To the national media, Smollett's story was the perfect metaphor for the Trump era. It was also, pretty clearly, a total crock. Tucker Carlson is going to eat Jussie Smollett's lunch. Smollett told them his attackers yelled pro Make America Great Again or MAGA comments during the attack. And that says a lot about the place that we are in our country right now. The fact that we have these fear mongrels, these people that are trying to separate us and it's just not okay. And this is America in 2019. I oh, believe this is a horrible story. Yeah. That's it, because it's the truth.